Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsTools.com, and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the new Motorola Moto X. So this is the new Moto X which we have with us, and this is the Moto X 2014. As compared to the previous generation, this one has got a better hardware, a better display this time, and a lot of things which are good enough. So we will take a look over all of those things. This is how the package will look like. This is the Motorola Moto X package 2014, and it looks very simple and very sleek this is how you can open it and the first thing you will get inside the package is the device itself which is the new motorola moto x and this is the 2014 generation if you compare it with the original one or the old one which we have with us this is the moto x the first generation of moto x basically over here as you can see so you can easily notice the difference over there we have leather being used over here on the variant which we have got again you have a lot of variants on the moto x uh, which you can buy you do have a wooden variant as well the one which we have with us as of now has leather at the back side and it is actual leather it is not fake leather it is not fake plastic it is not fox leather it is actual leather which has been used at the back side of this phone and which is quite commendable and again just like the original moto x the back cover on the new moto x again cannot be removed but this one was kind of plastic whereas this one is leather so very good and better in terms of the design and then you have metal part over here with the motorola branding whereas we have plastic part over here with motorola branding over there we have a 13 megapixel camera on this device with dual led flash as you can see on this device we have single led flash and this was a 10 megapixel camera so the camera has been enhanced and the overall build quality has gone to a new level this time so talking about the build quality if we actually see the changes in terms of the physical design and the overall material which has been used on the new moto x as compared to the old moto x we can see a bigger difference over here because we have seen polycarbonate plastic being used again this is very good quality plastic which motorola used at that time when they launched the moto x now the moto x 2014 actually has metal so it has a metal frame which holds the complete phone together and this phone is actually very solid in terms of the build quality as well at the back side we can see leather being used over there and there is very minimal uh, you can say usage of plastic on this device over here or some part basically most of the part of this phone are actually made up of metal or from leather which is definitely a very good thing so plastic is being used in a very minimal way on the new moto x and as far as display is concerned the display has also gone slightly more colorful this time as compared to the colors which we have seen on the original old moto x so we will take a look over the differences later on in between these two devices let's take a look what we have inside the package of the new moto x so inside the package we get the device which was the first thing and then we have this thing uh, let me just open it so you get a charging cable a data syncing and charging cable the micro usb data syncing charging cable is there and this is how the charger looks like again the charger and the cable remains the same uh, as we have seen on the older generation of moto x and again on this device as well uh, as far as charger is concerned the output current from the charger is 1150 milliampere so it is slightly more than one ampere charger you will get with this phone this is how the sim ejection tool will look like and this is also same which we have seen earlier with the slight design changes so these are the things which we have inside the package you will also get headphone within the package although the package which we have with us does not have the headphone inside but you will get the package once you buy it in india it will be approximately 30,000 rupees as far as the price is concerned. Now let's take a closer look over the new Motorola Moto X 2014. And this device when it comes to the build quality as I already told you is one of the most premium device you can see. It is one of the most premium looking Android phone you can buy as of now among all the flagship phones which are available in the market. It does not feel plastic. It does not feel cheap in any way the metal edges are actually very strong and this phone can also survive the bend test as well we have done this with this phone this phone can easily survive the bend test it is very strong in terms of the build quality and if you have actually seen the videos online you can see that this is one of the most sturdy device in terms of the build quality so don't worry about that when it comes to the overall form factor the form factor of this device is good enough because 
this device has a cuff back side which has leather as well and it is original leather which is being used so it gives you a great feel when you hold this device in one hand and a very good form factor as well although one handed usage of this device is slightly difficult at times because this is having a 5.2 inch super amoled display again it might be difficult for you to reach every part of the screen uh, with one hand and this will depend on the different hand size so with this much of resolution and this much of pixel density you won't notice any pixelation on this device even when you read a document with large amount of text so you won't notice any pixelation on this device and i haven't noticed it while using it during the last one week the front glass also has corning gorilla glass 3 protection let's talk about the connectivity at the bottom you have micro usb port for data syncing and charging we have some antenna bands over there just like you might have seen on the iphone on the top you have 3.5 mm audio jack with the silver link which silver lining which actually looks very good and it is chrome finish you have a nano sim card slot over there on this side we have the power and sleep key and the volume rocker both of these are metallic buttons give you good amount of feedback at the back we have the motor of branding and this is actually metal part over here we have 13 megapixel camera with dual led flash on the front we have 2 megapixel fixed focus camera the rear camera can record high definition video at 720p 1080p as well as at 4k and when it comes to the front the front camera can record high definition video at 1080p at 30 fps this is how the front display look like the dis the display size is pretty big and it does look very nice in terms of the color production and the kind of viewing angles you will get on this one so definitely this phone will give you pretty good viewing angles and the super amoled displays are always good but when it comes to the white areas the white may not be the pure white you might experience slight amount of pale yellowish uh, shade especially on the white on this device but blacks are very so you will experience a complete dark black on this device which is definitely going to be better as compared to the ips lcd displays which you might have seen as far as storage is concerned this device has 16 gb and 32 gb of storage depending on the model which you buy 2 gb of ram it will have and again it does not have micro sd card slot as i already told you so you cannot expand the storage of this device as far as ui is concerned the ui is stock android i do not see any kind of customizations coming from motorola however there are some application which are coming from motorola like motorola migrate moto and other application which you can use but apart from that there is no customization there is no ui lag which i can notice on this device because of customization so nothing of that sort it is a very fluid custom phone so and when i say fluid custom phone that means applications are there to customize the experience but when it comes to the ui the ui is completely stock android and i do not notice any lag because of any kind of ui changes which so here we have the notification center as you can see and again you might have noticed that the touch capacity buttons are actually within the display and they are not on the body of the phone the bezel is quite thin on this device considering this is a 5.2 inch display phone and this is something which i like but because of this the touch capacity buttons are actually there within the display so they will take some part of the screen resolution at times but not always talking about the loudspeaker the loudspeaker is something which is a better design on this device because motorola has actually moved the loudspeaker on the front and then at the top over this metallic part which you can easily notice this metallic part actually has a loudspeaker and a earpiece and over here we have a microphone and a loudspeaker so there are two loudspeaker and the overall loudness of the sound which comes out from the new moto x2014 is pretty loud and very good in terms of the sound quality as well Now let's take a look over the notification center and we will show you what all we have over here. So this is a stock Android notification center which you will get on this device. We have toggles over here. We can go to settings directly from here and we do have support for automatic brightness as well. This is how the settings UI will look like. When we take a look over the version of Android, it is running the latest version of Android that is 4.4.4 KitKat as of now. And again, you do have the option of checking for system updates and you will get latest version of Android on this device much faster than other devices. which are there in the market which is good and when we take a look over the storage now 
सो द न्यू मोटो एक्स विच वी हैव हैज एट जी बी ऑफ इंटरन स्टोरेज अगेन दिस एट जी बी मॉडल मे कम लेटर बट एज ऑफ नाउ दे आर सेलिंग थर्टी टू जी बी वेरियंट ऑनली द सिक्सटीन जी बी वेरियंट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल फॉर दिस फोन सो दैट विल ऑल्सो कम लेटर ऑन बट एज ऑफ नाउ यू कैन ऑनली बाई थर्टी टू जी बी वेरियंट ऑन द एट जी बी वेरियंट यू विल गेट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फोर पॉइंट वन थ्री जी बी अवेलेबल टू द यूजर अगेन वी हैव इंस्टॉल्ड सर्टन एप्लीकेशन गेम सो द एग्जेक्ट स्टोरेज इज स्लाइटली लेस एज ऑफ नाउ ऑन द सिक्सटीन जी So the exact device which we have with us is the 8 GB storage model of the new Motorola Moto X 2014. Although this device is going to be sold with 32 GB storage model as of now in India only, you may not be able to get 16 GB or 8 GB as of now, but they may come later on. As of now, you can only buy 32 GB variant. As far as free storage is concerned, I can tell you about the free storage available on the 8 GB variant. It is going to be 4.13 GB, whereas on the 16 GB variant, you will get approximately 12 to 13 GB available to the user. And on 32 GB variant, you will get approximately 23 GB, which is quite sufficient for installing applications and games and storing data as well. But again, these devices. will not have none of the storage model will have any kind of sd card slot so you have to live with the limited storage which we have on this device especially in case you are planning to buy the 16 gb and 8 gb model of this phone as far as otg support is concerned we do have this option of usb disk over here which indicates that this device might have otg support let me just connect this flash drive over here and see whether it detects the same or not so we have just connected the flash drive and it has been detected that means otg is supported but in order to access the contents of the flash drive you may not have the file manager on this device and let me just check for the same so as of now under application which are coming pre installed we do not have any file manager so you can always go ahead and download es file explorer and other file explorer which you get for free on the play store so you can download the file explorer from play store any free file explorer and then you can browse the contents of the flash drive using that file explorer so let me just download this one as of now and show you how does the flash drive contents actually get accessible on this phone so as you can see as far as the storage locations are concerned it has listed the usb disk as well and i can access the contents on the usb flash drive on this device so otg is definitely supported Taking a look of the phone dialer, the phone dialer is again stock Android on this device, and this is how you can easily dial a number. Again, when it comes to making a video call, cellular video call option is not supported on the phone. When we take a look over the messaging application, and this is again the stock Android messaging application which you will get on this device, but there are few differences. That is, you do get swipe to type supported on this device, which is good, and you also get these suggestions at the top whenever you are typing, which is also. making the overall typing experience pretty good on this device you also get a pop up whenever you type and the display is pretty big to type on this device the keyboard keys are pretty big and nicely spaced out from each other so you will not face any any kind of typing problem on this device you can easily type with two fingers now let's take a look over the camera ui on this phone and this is how the camera ui look like as you can see it is a stock android camera ui but it does give you the kind of options you might need with this kind of camera which we have on this phone and it can do the focus pretty fast as you can see it has focused already on the subject which is there in the center and i will take two photos of this tonal duct in this particular room where we have artificial light falling on this one and let me just stop the artificial light so we have turned off the artificial light and now it is trying to focus on the subject but again because of low amount of light it may not be able to do that so in that case you need to be at the right distance from the subject so that it can focus and once it can it has focused i will take the photo let me just try focusing from different angles so that we have some amount of low light falling on this one So we have taken both of these photos and let me just show you both of them one by one. So this is the one which has been taken without the artificial light and this photo has came out to be pretty good in terms of the colors I would say. In terms of details again it is not too great but still it is better as compared to some other devices which I have seen especially in the same price segment. If we take a look over the other photo which we have taken especially with artificial light this one has very good amount of details and very good color production as well i can see the amount of details and the color being produced very nicely so again the camera on this device is a very good camera let's take a look over the front camera the front camera is like this and this is how you can actually do a 
the kind of video chat from this device again high definition video chat is possible from the front camera it is also pretty good to take selfie shots so selfie shots can also be taken pretty nicely and the colors which i can see from the front camera and the quality which i can see from the front camera is something which is one of the best i have seen especially in the flagship phones recently so taking over the camera settings i can show you the camera settings now so we do have the option over here to control the focus and exposure you can enable this feature in case you would like to do that and then you have hdr mode supported as well the flash can be automatic or forced and then we have panorama mode also supported we have the video mode over there and this device can also do high definition video at 1080p at slow motion videos can also be done at 1080p so it will be more in terms of frames per second and then we have the option of recording ultra hd video that is 4k resolution video can also be recorded from this device so this is something which is good let me just show you the options from the front front camera as far as resolution is concerned so the front camera should be having the resolution option over there so this is the wide screen 16 is to 9 expect ratio at which the front camera is showing the display so 2 megapixel camera it is and you can also take 1.6 mega megapixel photos at 4 is to 3 expect ratio and again the camera quality on this device is something which is very good and i do appreciate that and i give a thumbs up to the rear camera as well as the front camera both of them perform pretty good not only in daylight but also in low light as well now let's take a look of the system configuration which we have on this one so we have the system information and the model number of the device is xt1092 and here we have the cpu which is armv7 processor on this device 2.5 gigahertz it is and it is a quad core cpu it is msm8974 pro ac chipset which is snapdragon 801 chipset to be very precise and the display resolution is 1080 into 1776 it is supposed to be 1920 but because of these touch capacitor buttons which are there at the bottom the overall reflective resolution get decreased a bit and then you have the gpu which is adreno 330 gpu which does a pretty good job on this device and you can play high definition games without any issues when it comes to sensors this device is loaded with all the sensors you may you may need in a device like this or you may not need as well because it comes with a pedometer sensor as well and you have a significant motion sensor as well on this device so all these sensors are in there including the rotation vector gravity you do have a magnetic field sensor as well 3x accelerometer sensor is also there gyroscope sensor is there proximity and light sensor is also there and then you have some additional sensors over there which includes the camera activation sensor so camera activation sensor is the same functionality like this if you do this the camera will get launched and this is how the camera activation sensor actually works so apart from the normal sensors you do have some extra sensors on this device so this is coming preloaded with the kind of sensors you may need now taking a look over the settings i can show you some more details regarding this particular phone so storage we have already looked at when it comes to ram we have 2 gb of ram on this device and i can show you the current scenario out of 2 gb approximately 1 gb of ram is being used and 834 mb of ram is free and the device is fairly responsive even when the ram is less and again when it comes to gaming as well you can play high definition games on this device without any kind of lag or without any kind of graphic issues and this is something which i have experienced when it comes to tethering option you do have the option of create, creating a portable wi-fi hotspot you do have support for usb tethering and bluetooth tethering is also supported you have support for nfc as well nfc is also there on this device vpn is also there and you do have support for wireless direct as well so talking about the display here we have the display settings and we do have support for live wallpapers, static wallpapers and video wallpapers by default are not supported. Automatic brightness is also there on this device and you also have support for wireless display as I have already told you. So you do have support for tap and pay. With the help of NFC you can actually make payments. In US again this feature is not going to be very useful for Indian people out there who are going to use Moto X. We have some additional options over there from Motorola which includes option for assist, actions, react to motion react to voice and then you have the display the glance display so again moto x has been known for this these features like which includes assist which includes actions which react to motion like you do it like this and the camera will get launched you say something in the voice command the phone can actually do things for you and then you have options to see the notifications on the lock screen just like the glance screen which we have seen on the old moto x you have that over here as well so you will get notifications you can actually take a quick glance over the notification which you have from different 
applications so let's take a look over the voice command feature and for that i just need to tap over here and go over here and let me just go into the voice thing so this is how you can actually configure the voice thing you can also set a pin lock as well and let me just launch some voice commands and do some things on this device and i have already confi configured that okay moto x how does my calendar look like So again, as of now, for those commands, it may or may not understand. Here are the it will launch that you Google. Requested. First up, calendar entry on the 12th of October at 6 p.m. So as of now, it has fished my Google Calendar and it has listed all those things which I need to do upcoming this week. So this is how you can actually do things. You can also call people. You can do a lot more things. On multi-touch, this device supports around 10-point multi-touch, as you can see. And here we have got the score for NT2 benchmark for this device and it is one of the best score which you can get. It is 43671 and this device can get this score because it is not running any kind of blotware on top of Android. So the custom UI and the kind of performance you will get from this device is definitely superior as compared to some other devices which we have including HTC One M8, Xiaomi Mi 3 and Samsung Galaxy S5. Again, I'm not saying that, that these devices are actually bad but in terms of the overall google experience the stock android experience you will get a much better experience on the new moto x as compared to other devices on nina mark we have got a score of 59.6 fps and this is one of the best score which you can get on this device again it has very good hardware for gaming as well we have installed couple of games which we are going to play now and we will start with a casual game like subway surfer and temple and oz and then we will play some graphic intensive game like blood and glory and asphalt 8 and we'll show you the performance of this device as far as gaming is concerned with these games so let's start with subway surfer for it as of now so now we are playing this game called Temple Run OZ and this game is running smoothly on this device as far as graphics are concerned. Graphics are pretty crisp and clear on this device and I do not experience any kind of lag in the UI. Touch screen is also pretty responsive, there is no issue with the touch screen as well. And the gravity sensor on the device is also working well. As far as viewing angles are concerned, this device can actually give you one of the best viewing angles especially while playing these casual games. As you can see, I can see the display from almost any angle. So now we are playing this game called Blood and Glory and this is also a pretty graphic intensive game. As you can see and this game is running pretty smoothly on this device till now I do not experience any issue. As far as touchscreen controls are concerned, everything is accessible on this device and I can play this game very smoothly on this one. So now we are playing this game called Asphalt 8 and we are playing this in high graphic settings as of now. And as you can see this game is running very smoothly on this device, there is no issue, graphics are loaded very fine and I can play this game without any kind of any graphic lag which is something which I really like again you can play almost any high definition game like this one on this device which is a very good thing all the gaming controls are accessible on the screen and I do not no notice any kind of lag so this device is meant for gaming and you can play almost any kind of high definition games on this device without experiencing any lag or any problem with the touch screen the sensor on the device is also very nicely calibrated as of now and it is very responsive when i play this game as you can see and one thing which i can say for sure is that you will love the gaming experience on this device with the kind of hardware it has, the kind of GPU it has, it can handle all these games very nicely and very smoothly. One thing I would like to highlight, especially when it comes to gaming on this device, the touchscreen buttons automatically hide themselves. 
so when it comes to gaming it is a completely a full screen gaming experience which you will experience on this device in order to bring the touch screen controls you just need to do a swipe like this and then you can come out so this will happen with gaming as well as this will happen with playing youtube videos and let me just play a youtube video for you so that you can see how is the overall audio and video quality of this device when it comes to playing high definition video so we are so we are now playing this youtube video from our channel and this is a high definition video which is being played at what revolution let me just confirm the same so it is play it is being played at 720p which is good this is how the wing angles look like again i can say the wing angles on this device are really good you can see the video or the display from almost any angle without any issues and this is something which is very nice as far as audio clarity is concerned i can make the volume of this device to full so that you can get an idea about the overall sound quality again this video has some loud music so you can get an idea about the sound quality so one thing i can say is that this is one of the loudest motorola device which i have seen so far the loudspeaker on the front are fairly loud and they will not get blocked even if you place the device like this on a table because they are on the front side and they are very loud very good in terms of the sound quality as well when it comes to the application which will come pre-installed you will get some google application like google drive gmail and google maps and hangout which will come pre-installed on this device you also get some motorola application over there which are the moto application the motorola migrate application is also there so you have all these application you also have quick soft quick office which allows you to edit documents on the go you also have some other applications from google like playbooks and play games and play movies as well all these things will be there let's check out the motorola application which we have so this is going to be related to the motion sensor related to the voice activation commands and you can configure the application what it can do for you you can actually find out all that using this application you have motorola migrate which allows you to actually migrate your data from any other phone which could be android which could be iphone and then you can transfer contents like contact photos and other data from other device once you migrate to the new moto x once you buy this phone so in all i can say that this device is a pretty good device talking about the battery backup i have seen approximately one or two days of battery backup from this device 1.5 days of battery backup is something which i have got over the days when i have used it in the past one week so this can give you around one day of battery backup very easily uh, provided the kind of usage you have is going to be a moderate usage if you play games a lot then in that case it may give you slightly less than one day of battery backup still it will be good enough so in terms of battery backup it is a very good device so that's all from us as far as the quick hands-on review and unboxing of the new moto x do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you Thanks for watching this video. In case you have any questions, you can leave your questions in the comment section below. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.